So for summer 2022, our family decided to pack up our bags, get in the car and try and see a little bit of Europe. 12 countries in 11 weeks and I hope you enjoy everything we're getting up to. Welcome to Pogradec in Albania. I can't wait to show you around this very pretty and rather fun place. Albania in its current state has been around since the collapse of communism in 1991. Um, we were, this was our first time in the country, so we were wondering what we were going to find. We took a walk from our rental property down through the streets, about 300 meters, to find a very bustling and rather beautiful cafe-lined street uh, where the majority of people love to take walks and strolls at all times of the day. It's a really active place as well, from its professional football team, Pogradexa, um, to volleyball, it's well renowned for boxing and so many other different things. Anyhow, let's take you through a walk through the streets and we'll learn a little more about this rather beautiful city on Lake Ofrid, which in itself is a UNESCO World uh, Heritage Site and Natural Heritage Site as well. Loads of places to eat very fish orientated and the reason for that is that they have a very special fish here which is called the core ham coran coran <laughs> and it's a trout style fish with pink body uh, inside and it's got little red dots on the outside of it and it only grows in two particular lakes and one of them is the wonderful lake orhid so it's very widely eaten here. So, and they also eat eel and other things that they fish out of their lake. So maybe I'll try some eel at some point. So Pogradec means the town or city below. And the reason it's below, because up there, if you can see that white stick, that's where there used to be a castle and the original settlement. And this is the area below, which turned out later to be the town. There's nothing less than the castle, but you can walk all the way up that hill if you wish and there are many more places to visit around the Albanian coast as well so over here is a huge national park the national park behind you can do loads of activities and on the lake as well you can do diving and you can do all kinds of different stuff they don't seem to have any sailboats but they do um, pedalos and things like that which seem quite good fun cycling and climbing and all sorts up in the national parks on both sides both Macedonia and Albania have uh, national parks if you're an outdoorsy type and you definitely have the weather we were in Athens yesterday and it was 40 degrees and today it's cloudy and about 24 it is really nice people here do really love to play in the water um, it is clear it does have algae um, but I know as you get out around to the Macedonia side, the water really clears up and it has quite a blue tinge to it and it's very beautiful. There's a bit of litter in here as well. Personally would not choose to swim in here, but when you've been spoiled by the Greek islands and Turkey, um, you do get extremely fussy on where you swim. <laughs> I, I can't lie. So we're on the hunt for a cash machine because um, in Albania, and Pogratek, 99% of places will not accept Visa. They just don't do cards, they just want cold hard cash. You can pay with euros and dollars, um, but we're going to the cash machine to get the lev, which is the local currency. We can't find a cash machine and nobody really understands English, so we're enjoying a nice walk. Want to learn more about our travels? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave us a comment. Not only did we want to find a cash machine, we also wanted to find some food, and we were drawing a blank on both.
Well, a food-based explore is going really well. We can get a coffee and a smoothie. We cannot find food. And it's one o'clock now. But I think we found the old town, which is very cute. Yeah, man only cafe, lady only cafe, and unisex cafe at the end. <laughs> this one looks cute through here though. I think Scott's, oh, it's a meal in a glass. Um, it is a meal in a glass with a high fat topping. I love my husband. Mr. Bear has cream on his nose. <laughs> so we thought it was called the Lev. It's called the Lek. And this is a 2000 note and a 5000 note. And for, for references for people taking money out here, it costs us about five euros to get access to the money as well. And it delivers it in these bigger denominations so they don't seem to have any smaller ones. And as you can see on the bill, payment method cash and how we're paying the Lek. And then there's the amount, two coffees, 300, so 150 lek each, so about 130, a bit like Spain. And then the smoothies, which are actually really yummy. buying some fruit from a local store because we couldn't find anything to eat for lunch in any of the cafes we decided to take a drive out and in to the local Albanian countryside around Lake Ohrid. The lake itself is a UNESCO natural heritage site with over 217 unique species within its waters and also on the outside around the lake is really really beautiful. The road you can see isn't the best and it's actually one of the national roads as well um, but between um, the gorgeous sights and the curious cows we really enjoyed our drive out and um, look around this gorgeous part of the world to which we'd never been before. Hey, have you subscribed to our channel yet? I would really appreciate it if you did and maybe give us a like. First night in Pogradex and we're in Kavos for our first meal and the food looks amazing. So we've got salads, and Koran, which is the fish that comes out the Orid Lake, which is the trout with the spots on. But I want to try beef underwear. That for me is, I'm like, what is beef underwear? Beef pants. Let's see. God says I shouldn't do a food review because I look so rubbish, but let's at all. look at the food. I never said you don't that want to be all. on camera because you haven't had your beard done. I'm all rubbish. I never said that at all. Look at my Greek salad. I know I'm in Albania, but now I'm on Greek salad, and that looks amazing. Thea has a spaghetti. But what have we discovered about Pogradec? That, that I called, if you saw any of my videos in Turkey, I said, Turkey is Kasha's king. Pod, what? Plum, Pog, Pogradex. Pog, it's very similar to the place. I've driven seven hours, I've drank a beer, and it's very similar sound. <laughs> The place you stayed in Bulgaria, but it seems like cash is king here. Yeah, and it's what is the cash? The le lev. Lev, the same as um, Serbia, correct? I have Bulgaria. no idea. No, Bulgaria was lev. Oh well, there we go. In the comment box below, correct me, please. Scott is loving the baked potatoes, which is oven chips. Yeah, no, no more, no more. 
Uh oh, feed fight, feed fight. Uh oh. No, no more. Uh oh. Scrap. But I'm going to review Corham, the locally caught trout fish from Lake Orhid, which is behind me, which will take you to see. Have I got food on my face? So I'm going to try this, and they've prepared it for me, and it looks amazing, much better than I look. What? Oh, you want. Look at that. My mum taught me a few things in life that she felt would be very useful. One was how to change a plug, two was to change a light bulby thing, and three was how to bone a fish so I'd never embarrass myself. Who am I focusing on, you or the fish? I don't know. Who's the better Which one smells right better? <laughs> After X amount of, okay, so head off. Ooh, we're gonna go gill off. We're gonna put it in here. And then we're gonna go. Hello, oh, little fishy. And we're Hello. just gonna gently. Oh, look at this! It looks like salmon. It looks like salmon. I'm not a fan of the skin, even though I know all the goodness is in the skin. So I'm gonna try corham. Oh my god! That is absolutely beautiful. It's like. I can't think of a fish it's like, it's just like a koha. It's fishy, but it's a really delicate, it's like a salmon pate taste, if you know what I mean. Not too much in the mouth after you almost choked yesterday. Yeah, after I almost died eating Greek salad, we won't do that again. <laughs> Will my mother be proud of me? Will I get this out in one go? Haha, <laughs> there you go mum, I did listen. Oh, Nanny got some here. Nine <laughs> percent correct, yeah? Nine percent. And just like that, little teeny tiny fishy was gone. Okay, maybe I had some help. Just maybe. So, you're probably wondering, how do we end up here? Why did we come here? Like, why did we come here? So that we could do two new countries in just a couple of days, because we can go to Albania, where we are, and we can go to Macedonia, which is five kilometers that way. That's why and we're here. we can try the famous... Korhan. Koran. 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 No one And we can see Europe's deepest, coldest, oldest lake, Lake Orhid. We hope you enjoy our funny bits and please subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit that bell button so you're notified when we share our next video which is a trip to Orhid which is in Macedonia and is the opposite side of this lake. Known through its 365 churches and rather gorgeous, I think you'll enjoy it. Heaps of... <coughs> I clearly stuff I'm allergic to. Pa, I'll take. So, <laughs> came across this statue and... He's peeing. <laughs> you don't think it can be as bad as you think it is. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it is. How do you say thank you? Something David. <laughs> <laughs>